To lock the doors and the lift gate, press the lock button. A beep will sound and the hazard warning lights will flash once. To confirm that all doors and the lift gate have been locked, press the lock button again within five seconds. If they are closed and locked, the horn will sound. To unlock the driver's door, press the unlock button. Two beeps will sound and the hazard warning lights will flash twice. To unlock all doors and the lift gate, press the unlock button again within three seconds and two more beeps will sound. To signal for attention in an emergency, press the panic button for one second. The horn will sound intermittently and the hazard warning lights will flash. To turn off this alarm, press any button on the transmitter. To lock the doors and the lift gate while carrying the advanced key, press any request switch. A beep will sound and the hazard warning lights will flash once. To unlock the driver's door, press the request switch. Two beeps will sound and the hazard warning lights will flash twice. To unlock all doors and the lift gate, press the request switch again within three seconds and two more beeps will sound. To unlock the doors and the lift gate, press the front passenger's door request switch. Two beeps will sound and the hazard warning lights will flash twice. To start the engine, shift into the P or N position, to press the brake pedal, and then push in the start knob. Verify that the green key indicator light in the instrument cluster illuminates. Switch the ignition to the start position while pushing in the start knob. After starting the engine, let it idle for about 10 seconds. To turn off the engine, switch the ignition to the off position while pushing in the start knob. If the engine cannot be started for reasons such as a dead advanced key battery, the engine can be started using the auxiliary key. Slide the auxiliary key out from the bottom of the advanced key. Make sure that the start knob is in the off position. Remove the start knob by pulling it outward while pressing the buttons on both the left and right sides of the knob. Insert the auxiliary key into the ignition switch. Shift into the P or N position. Depress the brake pedal and switch the ignition to the start position while pushing in the start knob. After starting the engine, let it idle for about 10 seconds.